hordes of unwelcome visitors blanket parts of North America. And as CTV's Jill Makishan reports, the invasion is now prompting some Canadians to resort to rather dark tactics. In Gimli, Manitoba, it's one of the grossest Julys in years. Swarms of fish flies have descended on the lakeside community. A problem in southern Ontario, too. This baseball game was called off Monday night. The sticky insects attracted to the lights stopped play and nearly the team's game-ending handshake. Fish flies, also called mayflies, generally emerge in early summer. Living less than 48 hours, they reproduce and die. I think they smell and they're disgusting. They're fine, they don't bug me. The flies on the walls, the roads, and everywhere else. The popular Pelee Island Ferry was docked over the weekend because of a fish fly infestation. The swarms flying stateside too. This photo is from Ohio. When the water temperatures reach about 19 or 20 degrees Celsius, they all emerge en masse. While many despise the flies, this University of Windsor researcher says the numbers are actually a sign of a healthy and oxygenated lake. So if you uh, have uh, sewage or other pollutants entering the water, that tends to zap out the oxygen and the mayflies will die. While some people have tried to cut street lights to avoid the flies, the town of Lakeshore warned residents it's a serious safety issue. Advice is be patient. The insects are only around for a week or two, a valuable food source for fish, birds and frogs, and humans can use them too. Sweep them up, they make good compost. Jill Makishan, CTV News, Winnipeg.